I'm Coyote Peterson. Now you've seen me stung by harvester ants, fire ants, and scorpions. But today, I'm moving a rung up on the insect sting pain index, and I'm going to be stung by the cow killer. I have a feeling that this one is going to hurt. Oh boy. There's no question about it, the Wild West is rough and rugged. And whether you're talking about the rocky terrain, laced with spine-covered plants, or its animals, most of which are armed with fangs and stingers, Arizona's Sonoran Desert is an adventure lover's playground. Sure, we all have our fears of being bitten by a rattlesnake when venturing off trail. Or in my case, having a giant desert centipede run on my pant leg. But in actuality, the good news is that each and every one of these creatures does its best to avoid human interaction. However, sometimes you have an accidental run-in, and when you do, a bite or a sting can be incredibly painful. <sighs> yeah, he got me. He bit me. Are you sure? Yeah, he definitely bit me. When it comes to my line of work, the goal is to have an interaction so that I can show you the effects of these encounters. This way we can all learn why it's important to be in tune with our surroundings and why it's always best to admire animals from a safe distance. Velvet in, velvet in. You got one? Yeah, 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 he's right there on the edge of that log. I get my back off. Yes, hold on, no, he's underneath the log. I just started to tip it, I so I ran back. Hold on a second. Oh, I saw him. Did you see it? He ducked out, ducked back in. There it is, there it is. Get him, get him, Bill David. Ah! Yes! Yes! Look Woo! at that! Whoa! <laughs> oh, he almost got into the crevice of that log. Wow, that is a good size one, too. Uh, but we got our velvet ant. There it is. Okay, cool. Well, tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get stung by that little ornery bugger. Cool! The velvet ant, which is actually a species of ground wasp and not an ant at all, claims a famous nickname, the cow killer. Ranked on the insect sting pain index as being the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom, rumor has it that the pain is so intense it can kill a cow. You may be looking at this thinking to yourself, Coyote, are you gonna get stung? Yeah. I am, I'm gonna get stung by this today. Now the insect sting pain index says that the intense pain will last for about 30 minutes. Uh, and the reason that I'm doing it is to work my way up to the bullet ant. You wanna see me stung by the bullet ant? Kinda of feel like I have to get stung by everything else leading up to that. I am not looking forward to 30 minutes of pain that's gonna come from this insect. I know, right? Here we go again. Coyote is about to enter the strike zone, but this one's a little different. When it comes to alligator bites, crab pinches, or blood-sucking leeches, I'm fine with that. When it comes to stingers and venom, that's where even I get nervous. Now, the females do not have wings. The males do have wings. But what's interesting is that the males do not have stingers. Guess who does have a stinger? That's right, the females. And that's what we have here today. Now, one of the most impressive things about this insect is the size of its stinger. In fact, it's about as long as the entire length of the abdomen. What I wanna do now is use these little entomology forceps to pick the velvet ant up and show you guys just how big that stinger is. You ready for this? Yeah, are they delicate? Um, they are not. The velvet ant actually has a very, very durable exoskeleton, one of the toughest exoskeletons in the insect kingdom. So me picking her up with the forceps is not going to cause her any sort of pain or damage. Come here. Oh. 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 Oh, get in the way, get in the way. I got it, I got it. Got it? Got it. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Now they can be found in the grass. So if you're out there walking around barefoot and you step on one of these, you're not gonna squish it. What's gonna happen is it's gonna spin around and then it's gonna tuck its abdomen under and boom, you're gonna get nailed with that giant stinger. Well, I think at this juncture, it is time for me to actually take a sting. Are you guys getting nervous? I'll tell you what, I sure was. Now they say that this sting is painful enough to kill a cow. 
However, there are no reported cases of cows, or humans for that matter, ever dying from a velvet ant sting. This makes me feel a bit better, but you never know how your body will react to venom, so we always have an epinephrine pen on location just in case I have an allergic reaction to the sting. All right, Mark's signaling me that it is time. Here we go. I'm about to be stung by the velvet ant. Here we go. All right, Coyote. Well, it's about that time. Yeah. How are we going to pull this off? I see we have a, you know, camera-wise, we have a GoPro, small camera right next to me. Oh, hey, there's Chance. Chance over there. What's the game plan for this sting in here? What's, what's the idea? Well, this is gonna go down one of two ways. What I'm gonna try first is to actually take this little glass, flip it upside down, get the ant to this end, and then place it down on top of my arm. This will isolate the ant on my skin, and I'm hoping that as it tries to get away, it's just going to sting me. Now, if that doesn't work, I also have my pair of entomology forceps, and I'm actually going to pick up, hold the ant, place it on my arm, and let it sting me. One way or another, I am definitely going to be stung by the velvet ant. Ah, here we go, okay. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is get the ant up into that part of the glass, and then I'm going to spin this over onto my forearm, and with any luck, the ant is going to sting me. Here we go, ready? Let's do it, here comes number four. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the velvet ant. One, two, here we go, three. Oh boy. Oh, my heart's racing right now. Oh boy, I can see its abdomen kind of pumping. My heart is going now. Any second it could happen. Yeah, any second it could sting me. Oh boy, ooh, 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 ow, 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 ow. Oh, it's biting at my skin. It's biting at the edge of the container, trying to get out. Oh, oh and that stinger is gonna be like a little hypodermic needle going into my skin. Oh, this is intense. The uh, glass is actually starting to get a little foggy from the heat of my skin. So at this point, I think we're going to move to plan B, which is holding the velvet ant with the entomology forceps. I don't think it's going to sting me at this point. It's been in there for about two minutes, and so far no sting. It's just trying to get out. So I'm gonna flip my arm upside down and get the ant back under control. Okay, here we go, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Ooh. Ah, How do you feel? Ah, extremely nervous and my heart is racing. I actually think I do have to take a second just to get my heart rate to calm back down. Okay, cut and go, pro. Okay. All right, the only way to actually move forward with this is for me to hold the ant with the entomology forceps up against my skin and let it sting me. This seems, this is gonna do it, isn't it? Yeah, hold on, I need a second. My heart's like, right. ooh, getting dizzy. Yeah, getting dizzy. In the world of entomology, when it comes to milking the venom of insects and arachnids, holding them with forceps is a guaranteed way to induce a sting. So I think we all know what's going to happen next. This is crazy, guys, this is crazy. Uh, my nerves are going this much for the velvet ant. I can't imagine what the uh, tarantula hawk and the bullet ant are gonna be like. Okay. I can't, I can't believe you're about to do this. That stinger is enormous. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can do this, you can do this, okay. So is that stinger gonna go all the way under your skin? Yeah, it's gonna go right into my skin. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh boy. Here we go. Here you go, ready? All right, let's do this again one more time for good measure. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the cow killer. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, I'm never ready. One, two, three. You good? Yeah. Get your shot. I'm gonna place it right down on my arm. Here we go. Look at my arm shaking. Go! <laughs> 
Okay, let me get You're back right? here. You all right? What are you feeling? Go! Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. G give me a second. Oh my gosh! You all right? Oh yeah. What are you feeling? What is it feeling? Yeah. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. Move this other way. Hold on, I gotta, gotta try to control my heart rate. Try to get a tight shot right there where the stinger when you just see the, there's blood. Okay, try to get a shot so I can get a like walk around for a second. Right there. Right there is our stomach. Our stomach. I could feel it. It was like um you could feel it. Go all the way under the skin. All the way in. I could feel it insert into my arm. Oh. <laughs> you gonna be alright? Okay. Now they say that the sting of the velvet ant will last for about 30 minutes. And I can tell you guys right now. This is the worst thing I've ever taken. There's no question about it. It's worse than a horror street ant. It's worse than a fire ant. It feels like I'm getting stung over and over again. You can see the welts starting to form on my arm. Oh, oh man, yeah, those are welts big time. Describe the pain. Is it, is it like a pulsating pain, a stabbing pain? The pain, it's radiating. It is radiating. It feels like, um, you know if you get a Charlie horse in your muscle, and it like seizes up, and then it's like, doof, doof. Oh, that is powerful. I can see why they call them cow killers. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is some intense pain right there. How long has it been? About, about seven minutes. Seven minutes. Now they say this, the pain from this lasts for about 30. Uh, about 23 minutes to go, guys. 23 minutes to go. Ah! Now aside from working my way up to the bullet ant, the reason I was willing to take a sting from this insect was so that we could all see the effects of the venom. 25 minutes has gone by, uh, my arm is still on fire, and what's crazy is that, look at all the red blotching that's formed around the sting. There's the stinger insertion point right there, and it is swollen and it is very tender, and you can see how red the entire radius is of the sting. I'm sweating. <sighs> My goal was to do the best I could to describe the pain I was feeling. And it, it still hurts. It definitely still hurts, but not as bad as the initial uh, impact of the stinger. But what's interesting is that all around the sting is tingling like these little tiny pincushion needles going tss, 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 tss. And as you can see, there's all these little red dots forming and I'm assuming that is where the venom is spreading into my arm. Oh wow, well I would say that this was definitely one very intense sting. The cow killer has earned its reputation as being one of the most powerful stings in the insect kingdom. And while it may be ranked as a four on the insect sting pain index, for me, at this point, it's definitely number one. I'd say I'm one step closer to being stung by the bullet ant, but first, I'm gonna have to go up against the tarantula hawk. I have a feeling that that one is going to be bad. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Woo, let's get out of the desert. Velvet ants are nomadic ground dwellers that feed primarily on nectar. So there is absolutely no reason you should ever fear them. If you live or are hiking in Velvet Ant territory and want to avoid a possible sting, keep your boots on your feet and you will be just fine. If you missed the painfully entertaining conclusion to my climb up the insect sting pain index, make sure to go back and watch Stung by an Executioner Wasp. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.